Hey, Retro Rat here. And you know it's me because I got my white t-shirt on. I just want to let you know that I've got a 200 subscriber contest going on. So after you're done watching TJ's videos, come on over to Chris Minogue and get your name entered in for some great prizes. Thanks again. Hey, how's it going? Got another video here for you. Uh, I've got my nephew Anthony with me. Uh, we went game hunting together today and actually found a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show a couple things that I have previous and then we'll show our uh, combined stuff and uh, really was just a, a good day. So uh, My first is uh, a gift actually from Flamex, uh, just another YouTube buddy. Uh, we potentially had a couple of trades and they just kind of fell through at the last minute, uh, but he's a super nice dude. And uh, he went ahead and sent me a Super Nintendo game, and that is Primal Rage. Uh, I loved this arcade growing up. Uh, I actually remember this game being at the grocery store, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, So yeah, Primal Rage, thank you very much, man. That was really neat of you. Um, my next is uh, a trade with uh, the original Game Boys uh, with Rico. Uh, I met him up at the Midwest Gaming Classic, and uh, he's just a super nice guy. Uh, and so finally got a trade together, and that was really cool. And uh, he sent me... Willow for the NES, which is just a, a game I was missing, and Twisted Metal 3, uh, so I now have 1 and 3, so just missing 2. And then threw in a couple extras here, threw uh, Resident Evil for the GameCube, and that is complete. And then he also threw in uh, just uh, some demo things, uh, which I'm actually really curious to watch. Uh, the, they have an Okaj Shadow King demo, uh, which is a really quirky RPG, so... I'm curious for that. And then he sent me a bunch of dust sleeves for the NES, which is awesome. He sent me four dust sleeves. I'm um, always in need of these, uh, and especially Super Nintendo ones. But uh, but thank you very much, Rico. Uh, I love your channel, man, and I love your business cards, man. They just look real professional. Uh, and I need to really get mine going. So that is my trade. Uh, so I've got a bunch of pickups here that I want to kind of go through quickly, and then we're going to show our stuff here. Uh, first, got a couple of DS games, uh, and these were four bucks a piece. Uh, and these were just at a uh, pawn store on my way to work. The first is uh, uh, Dr Dragon Quest Rocket Slime. Uh, and I th somebody told me about this. I believe it was Getting Your Nerd On, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, but anyway, it's supposed to be pretty fun. Uh, and then I'm actually very excited about this. And it's Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Sky. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I loved Dragon Quest VI for the DS. And uh, so I'm actually really uh, excited to start uh, 9. Uh, next is uh, just a Wii game. Uh, Tuesday was video game day at our pawn stores, and so they're giving away free video games. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 was honestly the best game <laughs> to choose from. So, uh, But it is complete, and uh, I am no uh, stranger to Harry Potter. In fact, I would call myself a Potter fan. Uh, but... I was really hoping to find a better game, but uh, so still need uh, part one. But next is another great game. Uh, this was actually with the the two DS games. I forgot to put this together uh, with those two DS games I just found. Uh, there was an Xbox game that just happened to be sitting at the counter, and I asked about it, and uh, he told me that uh, he hadn't looked it up yet, but he'd do it for five bucks, and I told him that was okay because it was Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, which is, as everyone knows, you know, just a harder game to find and a little more expensive. Uh, it is complete, which is really cool. And their Xbox games are normally $2 at this pawn store, um, but he's actually had uh, a copy of this before, and he was selling it for $25, so I, I think he knew what it really goes for. Um, so the fact that he did 5 on it was really nice of him. Um, so this is actually going to Anthony, um, because way early on when I first started my channel, uh, he got to go out with me, and he. this is what we were looking for. Yeah. And so he's really been on a hunt for this, and I just happened to find it first. Uh, so it is going to Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, that was really cool to find that. Next is just a couple of uh, two, uh, a PS2 game and an Xbox game. They were a dollar each. Uh, and these are actually from the pawn store that we had our last sale at. Yeah. Uh, and so this first one is Star Wars Battlefront Two for the PS2. Uh, this is just an upgrade for me. Mine was Greatest Hits, uh, so it's glad to, I'm glad to find a uh, black label. 
and it's also complete. And then I took a chance on this. Uh, I don't really collect for the Xbox, unless it's Battlefront 2. Um, but it was Dungeons & Dragons Heroes. It kind of looked like Gauntlet, uh, and it was a dollar. So I took a chance that somebody might want this. Um, so it's complete. Um, so just a uh, game like that I hope to trade, because uh, I don't collect for the Xbox. And it, this one looked pretty fun, so hopefully uh, somebody wants it. And I'm really excited about this. This was at a, uh, a thrift store called Deseret Industries. And uh, normally I don't find too much there. Um, but I, uh, they had some uh, PS1 RPGs, which was awesome. And uh, they had a stack of about 14 games that I wanted. Uh, but they had them stickered at $6 a piece. Uh, which is a good price for the games I got. But just adds up very quickly. So, And they had a bunch of uh, PS1 long boxes. Like Tekken and like the original long box with the plastic case and stuff so uh really cool but just six dollars was too expensive for everything uh so i picked out the three that i wanted uh and that is final fantasy 7 black label final fantasy 8 black label and then uh my favorite actually out of the three is a uh, chrono cross uh so so i paid six dollars a piece for these three games and uh, they were actually very super nice i uh, i walked up to the counter with all 14 games and asked if they would uh, do two dollars a piece uh, and I told her I was like you know I'd love to buy all of these but uh, six dollars is just a lot and she told me uh, she was really honest with me said that well I think these just came out recently um, so I don't know if they'll anyone work with you but I'll ask my manager uh, so she pulled the manager over uh, and he, he, even he was, uh, was just real nice he said that uh, he had physically put those games on the shelf that day so he couldn't lower the price yet um, but if I came back uh, on Saturday today, uh, you know he'd be able to. He would work with me, and uh, we didn't make it over there today. But uh, like I said, I grabbed the three that I wanted out of it: uh, the Final Fantasies and uh, Chrono Cross. So all three of these are for trade. And, uh, and at the end of the video, I'll put a little, you know, what's for trade and what's not. But uh, all three of these are for trade. So uh, you know, please hit me up. So those are my solo finds. Um, we got uh, did some live footage with our uh, game hunting today. Uh, I think we hit up about eight stores. Uh, probably found something out of five of them or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty decent, uh, especially you. I mean, you walked out here with, what, 12, 13 games or something. So, Somewhere around there. Yeah, so it was, it was a really good uh, day for you. But uh, we'll go ahead and put the live footage there uh, first so you can just kind of get a glimpse of it all. And then we'll just kind of recap everything here quickly. Hey, how's it going? Finally get to do some uh, game hunting again. I've got my uh, nephew with me here bending over. Uh, we found one game so far, nothing super amazing, but got Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1, Special All Edition. Right, so after a couple of failures here, we got a uh, couple of finds here. We got a pretty good deal here. Go ahead and show what we got here. Uh, we, I got uh, Scribble Knots Unlimited for the 3DS. Uh, I got Fallout New Vegas for the 360. And I picked up Forza Motorsport for my friend. And we got all of this for $10. So, so got a pretty good deal. Uh, kind of a, a funny story. The guy tried to kind of like haggle with us after he had already given us a price when he saw that Scribble Knots, they had it for 15 so he tried to go back on his word, but uh, we stuck it to him. Uh, actually, that was a mean way to say that. We stuck to our guns and uh, held firm on the $10, so. Uh, but yeah, pretty good deal. I still have found absolutely nothing, and uh, hopefully that'll change here at the All next right, store. so we found a couple more games here. I actually found uh, a pretty good deal here. Go ahead and show, uh, show the 360 one first. Ah, 360. Uh, so we paid four bucks for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and uh, the lady was actually super nice she actually uh, went through the back to make sure to find a disc that uh, looked pretty decent because the first one looked crappy uh, and so she went and just found a, a, a better disc for so it was really nice of her uh, and then uh, we picked up two Xbox games Superman Returns and the Midnight Club Midnight Club 2 uh, and all their Xbox games at this place are a dollar a piece and uh, the discs aren't in the best condition and uh, she gave them to uh, we asked for if she would do uh, a dollar for the two of them, and she said yes. Uh, and then when she rang it all up, she didn't even uh, charge them. So we got uh, three games for four bucks. So just for the cost of uh, Modern Warfare 2, and got two free Xbox games in it. So awesome deal. We're actually, uh, you're doing really good. I'm still yet to find uh, anything. Uh, it's not from a lack of trying, just uh, lack of good prices. So all right, we'll keep it up. We got a couple more stores to hit up uh, before we head home. And uh, hopefully we do find some uh, more good uh, stuff. All right. Hit another stop here, and I actually bought some games. So finally, I got some games. 
Uh, and I'm really happy. Let's uh, let's go and show yours first. Uh, I just decided to get Zoo Tycoon for the Nintendo DS. And didn't you say like yours like stopped saving? Ha has anyone ever had that happen with a DS game? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, like the Game Boy game stuff have save batteries, but I've never heard that with a DS game. Uh, but we paid two bucks for it, uh, so not a bad price for for a DS mm -hmm. game. Uh, and you said it's actually kind of fun, mm -hmm. so I may have to try it out sometime. I got uh, some pretty decent games here for three dollars. I picked up Metal Slug Four and Metal Slug Five uh, combined. It's a two disc uh, game here with the manual, which is really cool. So it's all complete. Uh, so I'm very excited about that, and probably maybe the best find of the day so far. Yeah, probably. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V for the PS3, I picked up for five bucks. And one of the other employees tried to uh, pee on my parade here. He, uh, he's like, hey, that's a, that's a brand new game. Don't do $5 on that. And, uh, and the other guy was like, nah, I don't care. He's like, is, is it PS4? Then I don't care. So got it for five bucks, despite the employee trying to uh, rob me. All right, I think this is our last stop of the day here. We're gonna head home. Uh, picked up two games. Uh, for two dollars, I picked up Army Men Sarge's Heroes 2 for the PS2. Uh, I didn't even know it was a PS2 game, so uh, I have it for the 64 thanks to uh, Brian, but uh, now I've got it on the PS2, so just cool to find. It was complete. And then for ten dollars, which is a good price for this game, but more than I like to pay for a game, uh, but a new Super Mario Brothers U. Uh, it is complete. It's got some points now, I'll probably give those out to somebody, but it's complete. Uh, so ten dollars. Not a bad price uh, for a Wii U game for you know for Mario. Uh, I'll probably uh, tra end up trading this off too. So okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, so the first stop uh, was uh, just you. Yeah. And uh, what was it again? A uh, dollar or something? Two dollars? Yeah, uh, it was ninety nine cents for uh, Call of Duty Two uh, Special Edition. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, for everything else, it wasn't very good. So this was definitely worth a dollar pickup. And I think the lady was upset that I didn't grab, pick up more since I p grabbed like five or six games. Uh, that's right. Well, and we had waited there like yeah. ten minutes for someone to even help us. And so I, I didn't feel bad that, you know, we looked at five or six games and only, only went with the, the one dollar game. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm not upset at that. Uh, and then the next store. Uh, I ended, uh, we went to the back and uh, I picked up, uh, I saw Fallout New Vegas for the Xbox 360. And uh, my friend wanted me to pick up Forza Motorsport for him if I found it, and I just happened to find it for a dollar. And then uh, inside of one of the cases uh, with the 3DS games, they had Super Scribble Knots Unlimited. Or, no, just Scribble Knots Unlimited, sorry. Uh, and the guy said that he would drop all three down for ten. And then uh, we went up front and we found some games, and he was going to charge us 14 just to add uh, one Xbox game. Yeah, one original Xbox yeah. game. And so we just decided to stick with and, the three. So and he was a, a real nice guy. Like he, he was trying to give us a deal, and he told us that all their DS games were 6 bucks. Uh, and I don't think he saw that he, this one was listed for 15 uh, if you can see that. Um, and so when he saw that, I think he tried to kind of go back and change the deal and... Uh, but you know, we kind of I mentioned in the the live footage there that we you know held strong and yeah. So yeah, so we paid ten dollars for the three of those. So I still I think still think that's a great deal. And then at the next store, yeah, uh, their uh, Xbox games were ninety nine cents a piece. I found a couple, but uh, most of the Xbox games were scratched up. But I decided to uh, grab Midnight Club Two, uh, and uh, Superman Returns. Uh, both are fairly scratched up, but uh, then I also found a. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, and it, it was for uh, just like I think it was four dollars, and uh, the two I, and so the girl went back and found a better copy, and then uh, we got these two for free because I wasn't gonna get them because of how scratched up they were, and I told her that, and I think it helped that I don't live in town also. So, and I'm still impressed because their their Xbox games are a dollar each, and you know you you asked for fifty cents and t and told her straight up that you wouldn't buy them if she wouldn't yeah. do that and she and she did it and then didn't even end up bringing them up anyway but uh so i, I kudos to you i think that was that was good on you like to, to hold strong uh so the next door uh like in the video here just a uh Excellent. i'm a little bit first oh oh you're right uh oh, you're right all right we'll do that one first okay so this is uh their playstation 2 games were three dollars and i picked up the metal slug four and five uh which is cool I'm, 
got the, the anthology on the Wii, thanks to the Robotnik Brothers, uh, but it's cool to find 4 and 5 on the PS2. And then I also picked up, because it was $5, uh, was Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS3. Uh, I just figured that somebody out here would uh, would want it. Uh, this one is definitely for trade, so uh, you know, just let me know. And then, and then uh, they discounted... Uh, it was already seven for three of those, and this and this uh, Zoo Tycoon was five, but they dropped it down to two to make it a solid ten for the three games. And I'm glad because I mean you've been playing this kind of all day, and it uh, looks pretty fun. But I, I'm glad they, they did two on it because I can't imagine paying a lot of money for a Zoo Tycoon. Yeah. Uh, but it does seem fun. I've been watching you play it. And then, well, let me do these, and then we'll do our last ones together because we didn't get out those on camera. All right, so the last one, and I showed this in the video, uh, I think it was $3, or well, maybe it was $2 for the PS2 games, and it was Army Men Sarge's Heroes, uh, Army Sarge's Heroes 2, uh, so just cool to find that. The Army Men games are fun. And then, this is kind of funny, the, the Wii U game here for 10 bucks. it's a uh, new Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, all their Wii games are for 10 bucks, uh, which is pretty high for Wii games, but I asked him about the Wii U games, and uh, the guy seems a little bit confused. He's like, Wii, right? And I'm like, well, it's Wii U. I mean, I was trying not to not to hide the fact or lie or anything, but uh, he, I don't think he really got it. He's like, yeah, they're 10 bucks. So I picked up New Suit Mario Brothers U. It is complete, and I'll probably give those club points out. But uh, this is definitely for trade also. Um, so I do not have a Wii U and, and don't collect for it. So uh, this is definitely for trade. And then lastly... Uh, and this was on our way or on our way home from picking up our pizza. Uh, we just happened to stop at one last little pawn store, and thankfully we did because uh, we came out like bandits here. Uh, go ahead and show what uh, what you have here. Uh, uh, while we were in there, uh, I was ha just looking over at the Xbox games, and I just happened to find one game that I've been looking for for Xbox, which is The Simpsons Hidden Run. Even though I already own on PlayStation 2, I really wanted to get it for Xbox. And then just all around it, they had uh, Call of Duty, the first one for the original Xbox, and I picked up the second one earlier, so I figured why not. And they also had Star Wars Obi-Wan, and I haven't heard anything bad about it, so uh, I just decided to pick this one up. And then lastly, I saw Robocop, and I didn't even know that this was a game until I just saw it up there, so I just decided probably cool to get. And they were all... 99 cents. Yeah, they were all a dollar piece, so... Uh, and what really... Uh made me stop is in their uh, glass case with some jewelry they had three Game Boy Advance games and I, I asked them how much they were and, and I was prepared to offer about two bucks a piece and the guy's like oh he's like I don't know I'll have to go ask my manager and so I was a little worried uh, but he came back and said they were a dollar piece and so I jumped on these and picked up Mario Kart Super Circuit Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Emerald version. Uh, so for a dollar each, picked up three Pokemon games and four Xbox games. So, uh, and, you know, and, I, and probably if we didn't have a pizza that was, uh, you know, in, our, in the car, I probably would have bought a bunch more games because for a dollar for Xbox and PS2 games, they had a pretty good selection. And we didn't, just didn't have the time to sit and look through it all. But uh, so really, like I said, made out like bandits today. And it started out slow for me. Um, but ended up with some great games, and you ended up with a ton of games here. So uh, it really was just a great day, and I hit up a bunch of pawn stores. Um, so just a quick recap for me, just everything that is for trade, I'll go ahead and show those. That is the new Super Mario Brothers U, the Grand Theft Auto V, the Dungeons & Dragons Heroes, Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy VII, and really, if you're interested in anything else, uh, just let me know. Um, a lot of stuff I'll be keeping, like the Dragon Quest IX. Um, I might be able to be talked out of the Pokemon games, uh, especially if you have the, the DS Pokemon games that I need. Um, so, but uh, thanks again for coming out. Um, we stayed pretty well under a budget and uh, didn't go cr too crazy. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, really just came out with a lot of stuff, so I appreciate it. Thank you.
Anthony, what are you hoping to find today? Um, probably the Assassin's Creed games, uh, maybe some more uh, Star Wars games. For 360, PS3? Uh, for the Xbox 360. 360, okay. And you know what, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore because I forget.